So you've upgraded your town hall and you want to know what you should prioritize. This is the ultimate guide. I will be giving you all of the tips and advice for every town hall level. I will be giving you all of the important information generically initially and then we will build upon that at the end of the video by providing a quick fire guide for every town hall level. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. So the ultimate town hall upgrade guide. I will be making sure to have this as generic as possible so all of you can get something from this. I have a lot of notes written but at the end of the video I will do a quick fire guide for every single town hall level and I will have video chapters in case you need it. Now you know that two days ago we brought you a video telling you when you should upgrade your town hall. I upgraded to town hall 12 on this account and I am ready to start upgrading all of the important buildings so I will be demonstrating it to you. Now I like to bring educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos here here on the channel so if you're new here I would recommend subscribing and turning on the notification bell. If you do want to support me in game you can do so using code judo within your settings before making any purchases but let's begin with a bit of generic advice. Now I think it's important that you do have the pre-planning phase and this is really what we talked about in terms of the loot penalty in my previous video when to upgrade your town hall level. I will have that linked at the end of this one if you missed it but notice that I have 10 million gold and elixir farmed already and also I have five builders raring to go so I can spend that loot and get the important buildings going straight away so that's really important in terms of maximizing your efficiency now there will be some people and rightly so advised to try and stock up on the books the hammers all of the magic items before you get to the next town hall level this one isn't a necessity but it's definitely something that can help you out. Before we start telling you which buildings to upgrade, there's another couple of quick and important points to mention. The first one being the Town Hall Boost. For the first five days of your new Town Hall level, you should be maximizing your activity, your time playing the game, because you have the troop and heroes boosted, so you should be able to farm a bit more effectively. You have your mines and pumps boosted, so you will need to be collecting them, and you also have the times four star bonus, so you want to ensure you get that every single day. Now I apologize I don't have my town hall boosted. The five days have passed. I haven't been able to get online to record this video so that's why I had the footage flashing up. It's important that you did know about that. However another quick thing is that normally there are some special packs for the new town hall level. If you are going to be purchasing anything these are generally pretty good value and I'm going to go ahead and get this one using code judo. So I've purchased the pack, just know that your loot will indeed stack on top of the other loot so you don't have to worry about that. And one thing that it doesn't really mention is that it basically saves you a builder. Any of the town hall packs generally give you a building which is automatically placed so you don't have to waste the time of a builder in terms of actually constructing it. So let's start to upgrade my base and I will be doing this in terms of generic advice this is appropriate for everybody but like I said after this you can skip ahead with the video chapters to your relevant town hall level because I will be doing a quick fire guide for each of them. So you will have a lot of builder suggestions, new upgrades, new buildings altogether. Where on earth do you start? Well just know that any adjustments you make to your base will impact your war weight. This is basically where you are placed on the war map and collectively as a clan who you are pitched up against. Now this isn't that big of a deal. It used to be but the war algorithm is very complicated now. It takes into account offense and defense so don't worry too much about 0.5 upgrades and only upgrading offense forgetting about the defense just make sure you are upgrading in a balanced manner defense and offense especially if you are one of the higher members within your clan if you are concerned about your war weight and you do want to upgrade offense first just know that it's generally the exclusive defenses for a town hall level that are the biggest in war weight so the expo is at town hall 9 inferno is at town hall 10 the eagle at town hall 11 you get the idea Personally, I would just upgrade in a balanced manner and build them defenses anyways. They are going to help you with farming and protecting your resources on defense to upgrade faster anyways. However, let's go over the following 
buildings because this is what you should be upgrading at any town hall level. The laboratory is your first priority because this is going to get you the new troop and spell levels and a little pro tip if you do have something already training in the laboratory from the previous town hall level when you upgrade the laboratory the timer of that troop or spell still keeps going so you're maximizing your time efficiency by doing that but you don't have to i've actually already got my laboratory upgrading because i knew i wasn't going to be online for a couple of days and i could maximize my builder efficiency to just get that one done now, in terms of moving from there, the clan castle is another huge benefit, especially at Town Hall 10 because it gives you access to siege machines. But generally speaking, the Town Hall you should be upgrading as a priority. You can take more troops. So let's go ahead and upgrade that one now. And I'm actually going to use one of the books to get that one finished off because again, you should be trying to maximize the hammers and books to get these first buildings upgraded as soon as possible. So new troop levels in terms of the lab, more troops in terms of the clan castle. Whilst you can't upgrade this at Town Hall 12, the spell factory and the dark spell factory should be high on your list to give you the new spells. However, the caveat for this is that you should be upgrading them with either the books or hammers because with the army camps, you can still cook up troops, but you cannot cook up spells whilst it is upgrading. So you need to get that one done done and finished with the books or the hammers. Now also just a little bit of advice on that, try to use the books on the longest upgrade but that costs the least amount to upgrade because the book purely deals with time. Use the hammers on the buildings that are generally the most expensive since you're not using the loot to upgrade that. Now, if you can, you should be trying to dedicate a builder to the heroes. And the reason for this is generally speaking, it takes the longest time to upgrade your heroes, all of them from the least to the maximum level at any given town hall level. So if that's what takes the longest, start it as early as possible. So I always try and get one of the builders working on the heroes. So new troops, new spells, more troops, more spells, you get the idea here. You also want to try and upgrade the army camps if you can get an extra level, which we can actually do here at Town Hall 12. Now, what you will see is that as you upgrade, your resources might be a little bit off. Now, this is where I recommend upgrading some of the biggest buildings, but you might not have all of your builders working. So what you can do is then use some of the other builders on the more cheaper buildings. For example, storages. The gold storages and elixir storages should be a high priority in case you are using runes and also you can stack more loot in there when you're farming as well as the mines and pumps. So it might be that you have a couple of builders dedicated to them big, big buildings we're talking about and just have one of them with the extra little bits of loot continually upgrading a gold mine, get all of them done or the storages, something that is generally cheaper but still important. So that's what I'm actually going to do here. I have 2.8 million elixir and I'm actually going to upgrade one of the storages so that my builder is working. And when I then use the rune of elixir, I'm not wasting any of that loot. It means that I can then go ahead and upgrade another one of the army camps following this. And because generally the army camps take quite a lot of time, as you can see, 11 days, I'm actually going to go ahead and use a book of everything on both of them. Ah, live and learn. Whenever I'm trying to teach you guys and do it myself, I often do miss things out. What I should have done with the 400,000 elixir before using the rune was cook up all of my armies. The most expensive, you can refund it afterwards, should have done that, just a little point of view. However, we've covered most of the important things. New troops, new spells, more troops. That is a lot of the priority. From there, for me, it's a lot about trying to get the new buildings. So at Town Hall 12, the brand new Inferno Tower. Let's get that one built and also the Giga Inferno. Generally, 
I do try and get that exclusive defense building, but it's also about maximizing the builder time as well. Because what you have to think is all of these new buildings, the giant bomb, the new hidden Tesla, this is very cheap and it's also very quick to build, but it will actually increase your base at the same percentage as if you were to upgrade an archer tower to the next level. Generally speaking, do not upgrade any of the archer towers, cannons, wizard towers, any of the new levels until you have all of the new defenses up to the level of all of your others. So let's finish off my Town Hall 12 and then I'll be giving you that quick fire guide. So I'm actually going to get the Town Hall upgraded because I want it to level three where I have the Giga Bomb, but notice that it is only one day in upgrade time and also less than 5 million gold. So it's pretty cheap. So for that reason, I am not going to be using a book. Do not think that you have to use all of your hammers and books straight away. Make sure that you're timing them with the most expensive You'll notice that we only have one more builder left. So what I am going to do is use that builder to upgrade the new buildings. So first of all, we can purchase all of the new traps. You do need that builder to actually build them. However, it is zero time. But remember what I said in terms of making sure that you are upgrading the very easiest buildings first. So if these new traps are literally level one, the efficiency will go up if I then put a builder on it. Now, look at that. I don't even have 400,000 gold. I'll go and collect that and tell you what I mean. Okay, the air bomb is less than 400,000, but basically this is only three hours and I am getting a 20% increase with the air bomb. This is where you build the new buildings, whether it be traps or defenses, and upgrade them to the current level of all of your other buildings because they are cheaper, quicker, and you're still getting that same percentage increase. But let's go ahead and give you a quick fire guide. I'll try my best to keep this succinct with just the main points for all town hall levels. I just had to read back through my notes to make sure I didn't miss anything for you guys and I probably should have mentioned the laboratory. Now I have mine just upgrading because I knew I was going to be offline for a few days but you should probably commit a book or hammer to the laboratory and the reason for that is similar to the heroes it generally takes the longest time. In fact for some town hall levels you might have a bit of a bottleneck whereby you've upgraded all of the defenses but you've still got a couple of troops or spells to go so you want to give yourself the longest amount of time you can within any given town hall level to upgrade your troops and spells. Now the caveat to that would be the pro tip that I mentioned. If you do already have something upgrading, you can just let your laboratory upgrade and the troop behind it will still be upgrading in the background. So let's give you a quick fire guide for every town hall level. Appreciate that the advice we've given right up until this point, you really should be taking on board. This is a very quick guide for you. Please take on board everything we've just said. Now Town Hall 1 through 6, I will be flying through this. There's not a lot to say. I'll be surprised if you are even here, but let me know in the comments if you are. So Town Hall 1, just build your stuff. There's nothing to say. You can't go too far wrong. In fact, you can't go too far wrong right of the way up to Town Hall 7-ish, but I'll go through the levels really quick for you. Town Hall 2, build the new mine and pump that's going to help with your resources coming in and the new barracks so you can actually get more troops to farm with. Town Hall 3, you should start with the storages and the lab, get them upgrading, then build the clan castle. You're going to be able to get troops donated to you from your clan mates, which could be huge at this level. In fact, overpowering and also make sure to get the new army camp as well. The more troops you have, the easier it is to farm. Town Hall 4, the new barracks. Again, the more troops you have, the easier it is to farm, but also the quicker it is to train them troops up. Now, I appreciate I don't have gameplay for all of these levels, so please do bear with me. Town Hall 5, you actually get your spell factory, so you should be building this very early on because it's one extra thing you can take into war, for example, and you should also get that extra army camp. You are flying up the amount of army camps you have. From this point forward, it will be trying to upgrade 
avoid the army camps as regular as possible. In terms of defense, that wizard tower you will be unlocking is very important. Splash damage you will find when you are farming is very difficult to get through at this level, so you want to have it on defense and make sure to have all of them maximized to the highest level that you can. Town Hall 6 and almost piggybacking from Town Hall 5, you get a second wizard tower, so prioritize that. Make sure that you split the wizard towers up within your base because that just makes it more difficult for the opponent to get through splash. I'm sure you're appreciating that as an attacker, so try and do what you find difficult on offense so it's hard for your opponents. Now in terms of the lab, you also get the healer. That's a really cool troop that you might want to combine with the giant healer strategy. Now Town Hall 7 is where it gets interesting for me. We will be focusing a little bit deeper onto the Town Halls moving forward. So the Barbarian King, this is your hero prioritize him as your main upgrade try and get him to level five because he gets a bonus in terms of an ability at level five that wants to be your number one priority you should also try and get the rage spell out of the laboratory once you've upgraded that try and use that because it is going to be something you use throughout the game forevermore in terms of the troops in the laboratory the hog riders once you've got the dark barracks upgraded and the dragons should be what you are trying to upgrade because they are undoubtedly the two best attacks at town hall 7. town hall 8 the dark spell factory i would say should be your number one priority it gives you access to the poison spell which is going to be very critical in terms of attacking especially in war it means that you can take out the defending clan castle troops a lot easier talking about the clan castle as we discussed in the first part of the video again if you've skipped ahead i'd highly recommend watching the initial parts because i explain all of this the clan castle make sure to upgrade it for town hall 8 just quickly checking my notes so that i don't miss anything for you build the second dark elixir drill this is going to help you with your king upgrade because you can get him from level 5 to 10 and having two drills means passively you are getting a lot more dark elixir in terms of troops, I would highly upgrade the dragons and the balloons. Main reason for that is you've already got them two troops upgraded somewhat. You just have one extra level and the dragloon strategy is still one of the best at Town Hall 8. Upgrade them first and then start experimenting with the other troops. Town Hall 9, your main priority has to be the Archer Queen. Getting her to level 5 to unlock her ability is your top priority. Now you do have the clan castle and army camps in order to upgrade as well and you will be unlocking the freeze spell which is massive in terms of a wide variety of strategies and if you are a ground attacker the jump spell might also be of use for you in terms of troops my main advice here is to upgrade the hog riders first if you have been a hog rider attacker at town hall 8 because it just means it's one extra level and you've got a powerful strategy straight away however if you do want to upgrade the strongest attack strategy that is definitely the lava loon which becomes possible at town hall 9 so upgrade your balloons and also unlock and upgrade the lava hounds you might also want to upgrade the haste spell in order to go alongside this in terms of defenses the expos are your signature defense i would build and upgrade them and make sure you get your fourth wizard tower and air defense upgraded as a priority as well because they will help you to defend massively Town Hall 10, and a bit of a recurring theme, but the Clan Castle, upgrade it as your priority. Town Hall 10 is probably the single biggest Clan Castle upgrade because you can now receive siege machines from your clan mates, and this is huge and game changing at this level. Upgrade the army camps, again that allows you to have more troops. The dark spell factory will allow you to get a couple of cool spells, especially the bat spell. I would highly recommend upgrading the bat spell alongside the freeze spell for town hall 10 because they will open up a variety of strategies for you. In terms of buildings, the inferno towers, the exclusive defense. Again, as I touched on in the earlier phases of the video, I would always recommend upgrading and just building outright the exclusive defenses. You can also unlock the minor troop at town hall 10 and I would recommend that because it 
unlocks the hybrid attack strategy so upgrade him make sure to use him alongside the hog riders if you check my youtube channel home page i actually have playlists for each town hall level just go on to town hall 10 and you will find the hybrid video i knew i'd forget something but at town hall 10 you get the extra de drill build it as a priority and remember this is something you can indeed manage your builders to get the heavily expensive upgrades and use one or two builders to just rotate the cheaper buildings and that will also include the new levels to the mines and pumps town hall 11 be sure to upgrade your CC and army camps. Now, in terms of buildings, the Eagle Artillery is your exclusive defense and what a defense it is. I would highly recommend just upgrading it. Again, if you are concerned about war weight, we talked about this in the earlier stages of the video. You might hold off on it, but personally, I would just build it straight away. It helps with farming and it is a very powerful defense. In terms of troop upgrades, you can now get your minor all of the way up to level five. I would highly recommend this because the hybrid attack strategy I talked about for Town Hall 10, this is relevant throughout the game from this point. But also the miners are a very good farming attack strategy. So what it means is you should be able to farm a little bit quicker whilst also practicing the war attack strategy so it really works well. The queen charge miners I use a lot for farming dark elixir. In terms of the new troop, the Electro Dragon, it is one of my favorite troops, but it's also one of the easiest to use, but against the right base can be extremely powerful, especially ones that are clumped together. Again, you might want to check my Town Hall 11 playlist, but the Electro Dragon getting that to level two, I would recommend for Town Hall 11. I keep forgetting things. I should be looking at my notes, but I'm trying not to look down all of the time, guys. However, at Town Hall 11, you do get the Grand Warden. Try and get him to level 5 as early as possible. Again, as we discussed with the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen, it just means you have his ability as well. And whenever you get a new hero, you should be prioritizing that to level 5. Oh, we're getting there, guys. Two more levels. We are at Town Hall 12 now. I showed you this throughout the video because that's what I was upgrading, but the Siege Workshop. I would definitely build this and upgrade this to get access to the different Siege Machines. Now, you don't have to prioritize upgrading the Siege Machines in the laboratory, and the main reason for that is it's so efficient to actually just get a Siege Machine donated from your clanmate, and you can get the level upgraded through the donation process. The one gem donation boost is the best way to do that. As with most of the levels, the clan castle and the army camps. Make sure that you are indeed upgrading these as a priority. Again, your heroes, as I explained in the video, that's irrelevant through all Town Hall levels, in fact, that I haven't mentioned, but you should have them as a priority. Town Hall 12 specific though, the Giga Tesla, try and get it to level three as quickly as possible because that's when you get access to the Giga Bomb and that makes a game-changing difference. So really try and prioritize getting it to level three. Getting it to level five is nice, but level three should be the minimum and the priority that you have. I knew I'd forget something again, but the third Inferno Tower you should be upgrading. It does mean that you have a good cover of splash around the base because the bat spells, particularly at this level, can be very powerful. And also the rage spell within your laboratory should be very high on your list because irrespective of what strategy you're using, generally the rage spell is one that you will be using alongside it. Finally, we move on to Town Hall 13. You unlock your fourth hero, the Royal Champion. I would recommend upgrading her to level five as your main priority. As with the other heroes, you get her ability, which is the Seeking Shield. And this will help you in war massively. Your exclusive defense is the Scattershot. I would actually build both of them because you can build two and I would upgrade them as a high priority. Again, you can be concerned about war weight, but actually my advice is to just build them and they are extremely powerful. So I would build both of them. In terms of the Giga Inferno, this is similar to Town Hall 12, whereby your priority should be getting it to level three because that's where you get the freezing effect underneath the Giga Bomb. However, you don't have to prioritize necessarily getting it to level five. In terms of troop upgrades, 
I would highly recommend you upgrade both the Miner and the Hog Rider. Really, really cool that you can upgrade them both because we mentioned the hybrid attack strategy. It's very powerful and the best for Town Hall 13 in my opinion. So definitely upgrade both of them troops as a priority. Finally, you can also upgrade the healer and the heal spell. So it really just means that all of the components of the hybrid attack are very well upgraded once you've got your laboratory to level 11. Now that was a quick fire guide of all of the town hall levels. There's definitely things that I will have missed. Please be sure to put them down in the comments. I tried to just focus on the main things. And if you missed my video of when to upgrade your town hall level, I have it linked here on the screen. I'd highly recommend checking that one out. We talk about all of the pre-planning before upgrading your town hall. And I also have the subscribe button here so you can join me in the next video. Until then guys, take care and have a good one.